have to be more situationally aware. I don't know if they're just getting uh, frustrated with um, how offensive this Rogue Mage Priest team is playing against them, but he, he wasn't, this, it's a normal plan. I guarantee they've played, you know, 9,000 different Rogue Mage Priest teams on their battle group. So, um, I mean, since it was such a, such a strong comp that everyone's been playing, and that's, like I said, it's, that's the number one thing that uh, rogues and priests will coordinate in Rogue Mage Priest. But, I mean, the, the way they need to stop that as well, um, the AAA team is has that warrior constantly try and snare uh, most of the team. I know it, like, stops most of your damage, but, I mean, you really want to slow that priest to stop him getting in position to fear away your druid. And also, if your priest is uh, polyed as well, he won't be getting any dispel. So, uh, we'll see. Luckily, they're not allowed to use rocket boots, hey? Yeah. <laughs> no I heard that's is. the only reason you hit 2.3k, by the way. Cal was telling me earlier. So um, getting ready to go into round two then, as Vihal has nothing to say about that comment whatsoever. <laughs> Especially because I'm not engineering, but... <laughs> yeah, 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 don't worry. We know you have like 10 priests. <laughs> so we do see a master spell thrown out early, trying to get uh, the buffs away from the other team with a quick knowing that he's going to be able to drink right away after uh, Zephyrus, that is. But... Um, Zom actually Saps hits the sap midair onto the priest, knows where he uh, scooted behind that pillar, and they're going to open up right onto the, uh, the warrior straight away. Here comes the uh, cyclone onto the mage. Plus uh, offensive damage from the priest. So yeah. he is in kidney shot with the pet <laughs> standing a foot away from him, attacking him. So there he goes. Now he's got the sword and shield out, but he chooses to intercept away back into defensive. So uh, he's definitely trying to save as much mana as he can. And, and the actually, druid right now, here we go. Okay, priest is... Priest is uh, polyed right now. The druid was um, blinded, and uh, Leah had uh, pain suppression on him. Well, I mean, uh, you know, Leia can use his rage to do a lot of damage, but he needs to get on his target, which is the mage at the moment. And, uh, I mean, their tactic at the moment. And when you go heavy on a warrior, it kind of stops him in a way, because if you go so, so heavy successfully on the warrior, it stops him from doing almost any damage as he has to play defensively. And here we come. Here comes the switch Zephyrus that we saw last time. Here, here we go. The, the two priests are mana burning each other as fast as they can. Zephyrus decides to give up the fight because he's out of mana. So, really, <laughs> well, oh really, this is a problem, though, because really is the only healer on this team. Zephyrus is basically out of the fight right now. Here we go, Innervate. Hopefully we'll see that uh, deep meditation trinket come up. There we go. His mana is going to be uh, going to full right now. Aurelie doesn't have that. Oh, and great dispels by Aurelie gets rid of that uh, Innervate. Actually, he was spell stolen, I'm sorry, <laughs> by another who now has, <laughs> that, that's a huge play. So now we're looking for um, another to start doing a bunch of damage to um, actually decides to crowd control him. Um, Here we go. Damage then onto Leia the Warrior, and that's going to put pressure on the mana of Zephyrus as uh, they change targets, and Zephyrus is all the way across the other side of the bridge. He's going to want to come in and join the fight, obviously, soon, as uh, this warrior will take a lot of damage, and uh, he is going low. The pet is up. He is in shield. Once again, Frost Nova down to 3,000, and he's going to get slightly held up, and that was uh, Zephyrus finally comes back into the fight, but an offensive uh, ice block and straight out, and uh, whether or not they're going to change targets, he was in kidney just for a second, and eventually gets away, but that has... Uh, burn a lot of mana from both priests and actually the druid is very low so uh, another being the one in a better situation that has the most mana you can see him just chaining frost bolts in and there it is and what a kill. The, kill the kill with uh, Mind Blast uh Shadow really with actually had the kill on that one um i was kind of worried about Aurelie's mana right there but he def i mean he had enough to do it um but uh every time that they force this warrior to pull out pull out his shield the damage just goes no you know it yeah. There's no damage. <laughs> so, and you can see that, and it reflected in the life bars that, um, of the uh, uh, Zom's team. So uh, every time that they go on the warrior, which was smart that they did, you know, sometimes they'll switch onto the druid when they see fit, but uh, especially against this warrior double healer team.